and share with you the newest Art Rave design. We're going to be adding to the Art Rave gallery. This painting is the third in a series. Um, here's number two in the series, which is called Midnight Moth. And number one in the series is called Midnight Munchies, but I don't have that right here um, in my reach. So I just wanna talk about number three for a minute. So this is called Midnight Mushrooms. And I just finished it. I'm gonna actually just paint the edges black. And I also was going to do a free little tutorial, since I have my paints out and they're still wet, on how the mushrooms are done because I know this looks really busy and complicated, but it's so easy. So let me do a quick demo. So let's paint these little mushrooms right here. Okay, these mushrooms, I don't know what they're called, but they are, they kind of look like they're almost like they're flaring up. So you don't see a lot of the cap. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a little bit of the burnt umber and white. I mean, this is burnt sienna, sorry, burnt sienna and white. Now, the cool thing about painting on black is that most of the work is done for you. 80% of the work is the shadows on this painting. So we are just gonna be painting the highlights. So here's our little mushroom. We're just gonna do this little, you can go from the bottom up, like a little firecracker, just exploding upward. And doesn't matter the shape, just do whatever, just kind of go up from the bottom. There we go. You can take a tiny bit of white, a little bit more white, turn your brush sideways and add a couple little lines going up. Just a couple, no big deal. Okay, then wipe off your brush using the same small flat brush. Take straight white and we're going to go around the corner and then just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and and then wrap it around the corner again. So we're just gonna go like this. And there's our top. Now we can take the white and we can also add some more white if we want to brighten up the, the, um, the little sides. And look at this dramatic mushroom that we just made just like this. And it was really just a couple of strokes knowing where to add the brighter layers. And then that's it. That's this mushroom right here. Now let's do another little mushroom. Let's do these little cat mushrooms here. I don't know what their official name is, but we're just gonna call them little cat mushrooms. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of burnt umber. So let me get another brown. Now you can use any browns. Of course, I'm using burnt umber and burnt sienna. So I get just a little bit variety. And this painting is also about variety. What makes it look so exciting is because I have a variety of textures. So I'm gonna do a little burnt umber now and a little bit of white. And I'm just going to use the, the light brown to make a little, little mushroom shape, looks like a little gumdrop. And then I'm gonna dip the corner of my brush in white. So this is the cool part. I dip the corner in white, and then I'm just gonna go at the very bottom and just go sweep. And there we go, there's our little mushroom. And then I can do a whole bunch of those all at once. So let's do a, a bunch. I'm just gonna take light, light brown and make a little, that one came out kind of light, that's okay. So this little burnt umber in white, and I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna overlap this one a little bit. Just make a bunch of little gumdrops and we'll put one over here. And the cool thing about black is the black creates the shadow. So if you have the paint is thin, it's gonna show the black through it and it's going to be more in shadow. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the white on the corner of my brush and I'm just going to go sweep 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 we're just giving a little little sweep of white to the bottom and I'm going to take some some straight white with a tiny bit of brown and we're going to make our little stems 
Now you can just leave a little black. If you leave a little black space right there, let me just check my video, okay. Then it looks like the shadow of the stem. And there's your little mushrooms. Now to, to highlight them, I added a few extra little details, so I'm gonna share that with you also. So I just took my pointy brush and I'm gonna take straight white and I'm gonna go, because I have moonlight, I'm gonna add white details to the top. I'm gonna to add a little bright extra white to the top of the mushroom because I talk about in the painting how we create that illusion of moonlight. So we wanna highlight the tops with a little kiss of moonlight, maybe a little highlight so that they look a little shiny and we can ask, add a little bright highlight to the top of our other mushroom because as it dries on black, it does get a little darker. So I'm just gonna add a little kiss of moonlight to the top of that mushroom. And there, there you go. So this is just a little sample of this entire painting. And I'm gonna keep it going live while you enjoy the painting. I'm gonna show you how I do the edges. So we did that simple two or three step process to all these mushrooms. And I show you how to add the highlights. Um, there's a special layering process with the red, but it's super easy. Um, when you have the outline, um, so I did a, a drawing first in my inner circle. We go through the design process as well. So here's a little sketch that I did of this composition first. You can see how cute all the little layers are. I mean, all the little outlines are. And then as we do it in paint, we layer it. So there's my design. I kind of wrote out my basic steps because I know that this is, I'm always teaching everything step by step. So I have a little idea in the, in the beginning of the painting, the steps that I want to do so that I can break it down as easy as possible. So when I'm painting the sides black, this is, this is my finishing touch. I just use the side of my brush and I go side to side and I finish all the edges off all around the painting. So it looks, it looks more complete that way. But if you're interested in this painting as a, um, something that you'd like to teach in one of your classes, if you're an instructor or a studio owner, you can license it through ArtRave Studios. But if you are just a, a hobby painter and you just wanna paint this for fun, the full tutorial is gonna be available on my website, ArtRave Inc. in another week or so. Once we get the whole video edited and we get the instructions written up and the outlines done, then you can order the complete video and all the support materials on our website. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna continue adding a little bit of black and water to the sides and I'm going to just turn this around and get this side done. If you have any um, comments in the on the painting you can leave them in the comment section and I'll respond to them later. I don't often do lives on YouTube. I do a lot of lives in my Facebook group. So this is a just a little a little share of the process for this painting. I love how the mushrooms turned out because mushrooms have been just a super popular subject for a while and I've added them to many paintings in the last year or so. But this one, it was all about the mushrooms. So I had a ton of fun. And I love the way it fits in with that other series, which I'm gonna share in um, the Facebook group shortly. I'm gonna take a picture of all three of the paintings so you can see them all three together. And just using the side of my brush so that I can get a nice clean line in the front. This painting is black, so I don't have to worry about the, the line being super perfect in the front. But when you're doing a really light painting and you want that black edge to be nice and crisp, just use the side of your brush. And I give it a nice clean sweep towards the back of the, the painting. Make sure you're not brushing the front. If you brush the front and you try to make it even, you're just gonna get black on the front of your canvas. So when you go near the front, just make sure your brush is flat. And then when you do the back half, then you can use your bristles for the back half of your, your edge. 
Okay, one more edge. And then if you stick around, if you're still watching this live, I'm gonna do a little moss demonstration on the same little mushroom painting that I just did. So I'm gonna add some moss and I'll show you how we add the moss and the greenery. And it just gives you a little bit, a little bit more of a sneak peek of the easy process, the one, two, three process that I take with most of the subjects that I paint for Art Rave so that they're just really easy to, for beginners to do. But because of the drawing, because of the design, you're gonna have a, a gorgeous painting. If you watch the design process with me, like when I do it in my membership, you'll see the thought and the planning that goes into each painting to make it successful. And then the painting becomes much easier when the design is strong. And I've just learned that through many years of trial and error. Um, you can have a great design and mediocre painting skills and still have a beautiful painting if the design and the drawing are um, beautiful. Okay. And some designs, if they're if you have a, a poor design or a poor composition, all the good painting skills in the world are not gonna save it. All right, so here's the finished painting, ta-da. And let's go back and do a little bit of moss. Okay, so the, the way I'm gonna do the moss in a couple of leaves is a one, two, three step process. So normally I teach about having base coat, highlights, and shadows, but because we have a black painting today, we're actually not gonna paint any shadows, we're just gonna paint dark to light. So I'm gonna use my large brush, which is just a, a bright, and I'm gonna get green and a tiny bit of blue. So I just wanna get a dark green. So when I tap this in, this is my moss. I'm gonna leave a little black right at the base of the mushroom. Or actually, no, I'm gonna tap a little green. Sorry, I lied. I'm gonna put a little bit of, little bit of green in there because I want moss to come right up around the edge of the mushroom, but I want it, I'm gonna leave it dark. You'll see in a minute. So I'm gonna put in some moss, leaving areas of black. Let me center myself. Okay, there we go. And see how that little, little texture. Now, if this is a dark night scene, which it is on my painting, it's called Midnight Mushrooms. Now I'm going to, now this is gonna dry darker, so I'm going to just highlight it with a really bright yellow, green, and white mixture. So this yellow, green, and white mixture is gonna be very, very bright because I want the moss to look like it's being lit by the moonlight. So we're gonna just come into the very high, highest points and add this bright green. You can turn your brush any way you want. You can, you can turn it sideways or use the corner. I'm gonna leave it dark right under the mushrooms because I want that shadow. And then we'll just put a couple of little bright highlights in here. And there you go. There's our cute little moss, mossy forest floor. Put a little distant moss in there maybe in the dark. And maybe I'll put a little red mushroom here later or a little snail just to kind of finish this off. But I just wanted to show you how beautiful and easy you can do it if you have my little secrets for layering and adding variety, texture, and and light source. All right, enjoy and I'll see you guys later. Bye.